Christmas is just around the corner and I always feel really overwhelmed at this time of year because there are just so many different projects that are inspiring me and that I fancy making. But this year, the yarn brand Hobby reached out to me and asked me if I fancied making my very own Christmas jumper. So the inspiration for this project was definitely something a little bit more neutral, wearable every day, and in warm and cosy colours. And when I think about Christmas jumpers, I always seem to think about colour work. That's sort of the thing that really stands out to me as being quintessentially Christmassy. So I wanted to make a very timeless and quite elegant neutral Christmas jumper. And when I had a look on Hobby's website, the yarn that really stood out to me was this extremely gorgeous Highland wool. And this Highland wool is 100% wool that comes in a DK weight in a really lovely range of colours. But because I fancied something neutral, I went for this gorgeous brown mottled shade, which is number 39, and it is called Ash Tree Bark, which isn't that just a perfect name for it? And the colour that I selected for my colour work is Champagne, which is number three. And I really love the way that these colours look together. I just had a feeling that this gorgeous cream champagne shade on this deep woody brown would be a perfect offset and really make my colour work pop. I wanted something a little bit less obvious that I could throw on under my jumper when I was going out and doing things in the winter months and I wouldn't feel like I was wearing a Christmas jumper every day. And one designer really stood out as a great choice for this sort of garment. And so the pattern that I finally selected is this one, which is called Tuku, and it's by The Petite Knitter. That's not Petite Knit, but The Petite Knitter, who some of you may well know. And she is best described as a maker of extremely luscious, detailed colourwork patterns. Her website is full of inspiration and it gives me all of those warm, cosy winter vibes. Now, Tuku by the Petite Knitter is a great little pattern because it gives you quite a few options to customise it. And I knew that I wanted something a little bit different because I normally go for oversized pieces, but this time I was fancying something a little bit more fitted and cropped in length as well that I could wear with high-waisted trousers and it would just be something very cosy but also a little bit polished and dressed up so I can wear it maybe to a Christmas party or to have a big nice Christmas lunch with my family. And as you can see here, the tuku is very subtly Christmassy. The colour work is full of really detailed snowflakes and because this is knit up, on only 3.5 millimeter needles with a DK weight yarn, you do get a real sense of intricate detail in the color work that I think will make this even more wearable and timeless and classic. Now I cast mine on in size four, which is for a 105 centimeter bust. And my bust is around 90 centimeters. So I wanted about 15 centimeters of positive ease because I didn't want it too fitted, but I didn't want it too baggy either. And it's actually lucky that I did cast it on in this size, which you'll see later in the video, because I think mine turned out to be a little bit smaller than I intended. But this pattern comes in a good range of 10 sizes, from 79 centimeters to 108 centimeters finished bust. It has charted instructions, which is super easy to follow, and quite a few options for customising the fit and finished look of your piece. As soon as I cast on this piece, I was struck by how lovely and soft this yarn is to work with. And so I'm happy to report that it doesn't seem to be giving me any itch around the chest area, which is where I can find that more fluffy yarns tend to tickle. And this Christmas colourwork pattern is such a fun and challenging pattern to knit. I am by no means the most advanced of colourwork knitters. I do think there's kind of a knack to it. Funnily enough, my mum, who is a less experienced knitter, is really brilliant at colourwork. And she doesn't actually knit with two hands. She just knits with the one and then swaps it over. But her colourwork is so incredibly neat. 
But anyway, as I got going, I was feeling pretty happy with the way that it was turning out. I feel when you work colour work, it's always really important to wait and see until you've got to the body bit and you've given it maybe a quick steam block just to check that your tension is right. Steam blocking is my favourite thing for these slightly toothy wools because I feel like it fluffs up the fibres and it really helps them mesh together to form one uniform fabric. And as you can see here, I was wearing my first ever colourwork jumper, which is the Holly sweater and also a really lovely pattern. Again, uh, I'm very predictable maybe with my colours, but I'm really in love with brown this season. After you've knit that ribbed collar, which is where you start, you progress into doing increases and then you start to bring in your colourwork stitches and it grows and gets more intricate as you go in a way that feels just really quite wonderful to watch. Once I separated for the sleeves and started knitting the body, I felt a little bit more confident that I had done a good job with my colour work. There wasn't too much bunching and I was happy with how flat everything was lying. And yeah, this brown really speaks to me. When it's knit up, you can see all of the lovely shades that are sort of buried within it. You've got the deep brown, but then you've also kind of got flecks of lighter colours mixed in that just make it a very pretty and interesting shade to wear. Another thing that I really love about the design of this jumper is it's written in a way which is very easy to follow, but I feel also creates a shape and a fit that is very flattering to the body. When I did my first sort of try on halfway through, I was really struck by how lovely that elegant swooping yoke is from around the bust area up to the neck. It just looks so neat and so crisp. And I can already tell that this wool is gonna be super warm and snuggly to wear. And this Highland wool is usually knit up on 3.5 to four millimeter needles. And each ball contains 175 meters per 50 grams. I shortened my rib at the bottom a little bit just cause I didn't want it quite so long. Cause I was thinking I'd like to wear it cropped with my high-waisted trousers or maybe tucked in. However, the thing that took me a really long time on this pattern was actually the sleeves. I was definitely stuck on Sleeve Island for a good week or two. It just seemed to be taking forever. Not that the sleeves were complicated, but 3.5 millimeter needles do sometimes catch up with you and it can seem like it's taking ages. However, I had the inspiration of our Christmas decorations going up slowly bit by bit that made me feel really eager to finish it and get into that Christmassy mood. Now, this jumper is my favorite type of construction. It's a top-down jumper where you separate the sleeves after you've knit down to the bust, and then you knit the rest of the body and then go on to work the sleeves one by one. Construction like this just makes everything feel very effortless and easy to knit. It's seamless, so you don't have any of those fiddly bits or picking up stitches. And it's just a real easy, joyful process, perfect for this time of year when you just want to be cozy, warm, and have something nice and simple to knit on. And now that the sleeves are finally done, I'll give you a look of the finished piece. And here it is, my Christmas jumper. The colourwork snowflakes do evoke elements of Christmas without it being too overly obvious. So I am looking forward to wearing this loads this December and into the new year. And this combination of brown and champagne colour is just perfect. I like how neutral this is and how I feel like it fits me extremely well, even though it is a little bit more close than I would normally make a jumper. However, I think that it will loosen up as I wear it, which means it's probably quite good that I went for this fit in the end. I'm so happy to add my first handmade Christmas jumper to my collection and I'm really excited to share some of my gift knitting which I'm working on this month. This is such an inspiring and fun time of year. I started knitting because I wanted to make my family gifts and I still think about that now when it comes to this time of the year and I want to make little bits for everybody in the family. 
If you have any Christmas patterns that you'd like to share with me, or if you're knitting your own Christmas jumper this year, then do let me know down below. This is such a fun time of year to make something for yourself or for a loved one, and I just want to share in some of that fun and inspiration. And I want to thank Hobby again for sponsoring the yarn in this video. They gave me the idea to make my own Christmas jumper, and I'm so happy I did. I really love the way it turned out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!